Okay, this is my second video. This is uh, 468 Nova. Uh, talk a little bit of how I got it to run pretty good. It's got a thumper cam in it, the mother thumper roller. And it runs pretty good if you set it up right. Everybody says they, you can't tune them, but they're it's pretty easy really set up. First thing you got to do is you got to have, uh, I've got it a 950 HP Holly on here. And it's set up, I think set up for uh, big cams. It, um, the primary throttle blades are already have the holes drilled in from the factory. And the way I have it set up, I've got a um, 30cc pump set up on the primary. And then on the secondary, we set it up with a 50cc pump on the secondary. So that really helps it when you kick it in when it's in gear. The distributor is an MSD and it's set up with 24 degrees of initial timing. It's, that's about what you're going to need for these things to idle right. I tried it at 32 total and you have to open up the carburetor blade so much that you're into the transition instead of the idle and it runs too rich. But with 24 you can really back close the throttle blades and, it, and you're in your um, idle circuit. So what I did, we run a special bushing and you can get these bushings, I show a picture of it here, from a place called FOB and there's a phone number 541-942-5920 and then you can see the bushing, this bushing here, that's the MSD 18 degree bushing for 18 total degrees and this bush in here is for 10 degrees total and the one I use was for 14 degrees. They make two different bushings. At 10 degree you'll have to file a little bit on the edges. I'll tell you in the instruction because it won't fit in the slot. So you just file both sides and it'll go in there. But I didn't think I needed to run 20, 28 degrees initial. It might be a little bit too much. So I didn't use that. I used the 14 degree. So what I did, but with 14 degrees in the distributor, I run 24 total, but with 24 total uh, initial, it won't, it wouldn't crank when it was hot. It was just, even though I have a mini starter, it still wouldn't crank. So the best thing to do is buy one of these starter savers. That's what I put in there. And that makes a big difference. It's a starter saver right there. That takes 10 degrees out or you can take 20. So I took 10 degrees out and it starts right up when it's hot now. And then I put um, that coil on there. It's a little, it's a road racing coil, so it stays a little cooler. It's got more heat sink in it. And then the MSD box there. So that would be the best way to set them up. 24 initial, put this, the um, starter saver on there. And you don't have any problem starting it. So I'm running 38 degrees total with the uh, 14 in the distributor and 24 in initial. So, and I don't have any problem. It runs great. Put it in gear, it runs fine. Doesn't overheat, starts right up. And it runs really good. It's got plenty of power in it. So, I'll uh, come in here and we'll start the car up. It's warmed up a little bit now, so you, it'll, it'll start, but it'll start right up with the, uh, with the ignition degree in it. So here we go, I'll start it.
Anyways, that's it. Uh, let me see. I right started here when it's hot. Yeah, it still, still is a little bit weak. I don't know why, but it was starting better than that this morning. But uh, but it does start. Before, it wouldn't even you couldn't hardly get it to crank. Through. So it will start. I might have a little small battery in here. Batteries in the trunk, and they may have used too small of a cable coming up. I think that's number two. They should have used one or more cable. So I'll probably put a bigger cable in there, or maybe a little bit more batteries. Not a real big battery. I think it's 550 cranking. Probably better off with something like an 8 or 950 cold cranking amp battery. Anyway, so that's it.